right, Cubs fam, it is time. Monday morning, rogue actions. We got Heinze in the house. Heinze, how you doing, Heinze? Cubs, we're back. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Welcome, Cubs fam. Love you guys. Good to be back on another big, big week, man. It's been pretty big epic, hasn't it? week. Yep. Hope you guys all saw the Mandalorian episode that came oh. out. Uh, we will not spoil anything here, but suffice it to say, I think it got us hyped for Star Wars again. And then, uh, Heinze, uh, we, we also uh, we lost a beloved actor uh, to, to the world, really, uh, Sean Connery. Mm-hmm. Heinze, I know you wanted to say a few words about uh, the, the yeah. legend of, of Sean Connery. Yeah, rest in peace, Sean Connery. 90 uh, years old, and he bonds. was still a stud when he went out. Mate, if I make it that far, I've done pretty damn well, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, Sean Connery was a, a magnificent actor. Uh, some of his best work uh, thoroughly enjoyed over the years. So uh, rest in peace, my friend. Yeah, I, I particularly liked him as Indiana Jones' father. Um, yeah, and, uh, we watched that. We actually watched that yesterday. Yeah. Uh, funny enough, and oh, did you? Uh, yeah, it's still yeah. It was you know, again just absolutely. There's so many different ones. I love The Rock. The Rock was great as oh, yeah. well. Um, yeah, there, there was so many amazing movies. You can't just list them. Of course, it was just James one Bond. After the other. Of course, James Bond. I guess, I guess that's something he's kind of known for. So absolutely. Anyway. Yeah, he goes. He went okay in that. He just did okay. You know. <laughs> yeah. No, it was brilliant. So no, miss a good actor. Uh, too many good actors dropping these days. So uh, yeah, it's a shame. It's All sad. right. Yep, I'll uh, rest up. He lived a great life, though. It's a, you know when I see somebody that uh, goes out at ninety, it's sad, but it's like you know what? They lived a good, a good dang life. Yeah. As somebody like Sean Connery, so uh, sad and happy at, at the same time. So, all right. So today's Correct. video, we got a meme of the week. I got a special surprise for Heinze. Um, Heinze does what? not know what's coming. Uh, we're ready for this. What do you mean? And then uh, next for Swaga, we're gonna talk about what, how we feel about the current state of this game and the direction the game is going in. Um, and mm-hmm. then also, we're going to give you guys a little teaser, uh, some really solid 3v3 defensive teams that uh, we're going to be we're going to be actually digesting in a little more detail here this week. Uh, but we're just going to talk, give you guys a little bit of an appetizer here for Rogue Action. So, Heinze, I got, I got a special treat for you. You ready for this? This is what man. So, I'm, I'm a bit worried right now. I'm a bit worried about this. You didn't give me any lead into this. So what, I, what are I've you up taken to? I've taken your face and we, we've applied it to four different Star Wars characters. Are you oh, ready for you this? Di- I'm not those. No. You, oh no. <laughs> there you no, are. No, not these. Power. <laughs> no, I've seen these, dude. No. And they're, and they're just gonna get better. That's actually the worst oh. one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's Luke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I can't believe you're doing this, dude. <laughs> look look at all that hair you got there. I wish I had that much How hair. How does that feel? I wish I had that much hair <laughs> everywhere. Like, you know, like beard, everything. Here, here you go. Oh, it's, it, this, this, this one might be my favorite, maybe. Uh, <laughs> no, no. This one is frightening. I did see this one. It scared the crap out of me, man. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, you should look, warn people look before at the, seeing this. <laughs> look at the that determination scares, on your face. That scares children, man. That's not cool. You can't go chucking that out there. That's not right. And then this oh, this one I think might be the most believable of the bunch. Oh, Heinzy as Kylo. I love, <laughs> I love this one because that is actually, that's not bad. That's not bad. That looks I like, like that you. One. <laughs> that yeah, actually, no. that works. <laughs> Again, lots of hair. That actually works. Oh, don't. You threw me out of the bus, man. How did you not warn me before that? That's not cool. This was, it was appreciating your beauty and seeing what you could look like if, if you had hair again. Oh, man. So There's I not a lot of beauty there. We, we've got a lot of things going on in Galaxy of Heroes, and I just wanted to cite a few of the positive things that we've been seeing over the last mm. couple of months and get your take on if you feel like this game is turning around to a certain degree. Um, we've had, obviously, a Vader rework quite a while ago. We've had increased communication. We've had a lot of these things we've been asking mm. for. We've had, um, mm. obviously, a new community manager who has been out there communicating a lot on the forums. We've seen devs interviewed by YouTubers now and yes. a podcast and a little bit of a narrow exclusive group there, but still doing it, which I think is very positive to see. And then we've also seen um, a State of the Galaxy post, which talks about some changes to in-game economy, more content coming, new ways to release characters through galactic challenges, and promises of improving galactic challenges, which I think is is very much needed. So, Heinze, how are you feeling about the state of the game right now? I mean, it's a lot of the 
things that I feel like we've been asking for all year seem to be getting addressed. Not not perfectly, but at least in the direction that we'd like to see it going. Okay. Man, they're putting a lot they put it they're making a lot of good steps. They they're, yeah. they're doing a lot of things right, which is great. It's Dude, I'm I'm thrilled. I mean, when we started doing this for the first time, man, we had our reservations. You know, we we had concerns. We really mm -hmm. did, and and yeah. we're not alone. Let's be honest, mm -hmm. we're not alone. But ev they've been ticking a lot of boxes lately. They yeah. they really have been doing a lot of great things, and the communication has just, you know, it's gone from zero to hero pretty quick. Let's yeah. be honest, and that's great. And yeah, of course. There's always more to do. But what I'm loving is that they are actually reaching out again, not just to the you know, the people that we're used to hearing from. You know, yeah. obviously, Galactic War Report. Guys, we love your work. Not a, not a crack on you, but, you know, guys like Operation Metaverse, I mean, you know, including those guys, you know, they're fantastic theory crafters. That's great for our game. That's one example. And uh, Swaggy so, Event, you know, kudos somebody who to does, you guys. Six Sig does a ton for this game. Yeah, Very absolutely. Involved. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Again, I'm not singling anyone out. What I'm getting yeah. is that uh, it's it's really refreshing. Yep. It's extremely refreshing that, that they're sort of sharing the love a bit, and that's all we were saying. It doesn't matter who, but just share now, around I'm, a bit. I'm, I'm going to say this. So the one thing that I will say, now I don't I don't care about myself and Arnold. Like I could tell CG they, they don't like Arnold and I. That's fine. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they'll prove me wrong. But they've got no beef with you, dude. They've got no beef with Ian. <laughs> they've got no beef with Gridden. A lot of these mm. other YouTubers who've come up that they weren't involved in all of the stuff that happened between the OG Game Changers and, and the rest of us. And so I really hope that they reach out to you guys. I'm not personally expecting it. I think the line is in the sand there, although I'd be thrilled if they changed their mind. They need to reach out to you, Heinze. They need to reach out to oh. Ian, Gridden, and others. And I'm, I'm sitting here waiting for that to happen. I think that's the next thing that I really want to see. Oh, look, it doesn't matter who. Honestly, I'm not even going to sit here and go, man, that would be incredible. Don't get me wrong. That would just be you know, a, a lifetime well, achievement for me. Well, your reach is good. You know, you've got right? a great reach. Ian has a great reach. Gridden has a good yeah. reach. And so I, I just, I want to see them go around a little bit more. And so. I, I think it's a good opportunity to sort of, you know, just put the line in the sand and go, you know what? Whatever happened in the past happened in the past. Whatever. Let's just get all those acts I don't think they're going to do that. Over the years. I, I, Get rid of them. But, <laughs> I, yeah, I, but what I'm, I don't think they're going to reach out to Arl and I. I, I think they wouldn't by look, now if they're going to. Dude, I don't know. Look, I don't know. Okay, look, you, hey, I'm, I'm a fresh kid on the block here. You know that. I'm a small fish in a big pond for a long do, time. Do you I don't know what's it? happened in the past. Oh, no, look, I'm just saying that, look, you know what? Let's put, I let's put the Zetas where your mouth are. <laughs> but Zeta's where your I've mouth is. Zeta. I've already got a Zeta bed in play, haven't we, at the moment? Wasn't it Relics before level cap? Was yeah, it? Well, I think. That's, that yeah. stuff is going to be a long time from now. I'll bet, I'll bet you a Zeta <laughs> of your choice that I do not hear from CG or Arnold within this year. This year. All right, I'll take you on with that. I'll you think, you think they'll that. reach out to me before 2021? You know what? I, I, reckon, I reckon they should. If they don't, I'll put a Zeta. I'll put a Zeta on. I'm happy to do that. Dude, it's you're smoking some Bantha juice, man. Let's no, go. No, no, man. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on no, the, there's I'm no on way. The, I'm on All the right. green milk. I'm in the green milk, Be brother. It's tasty. On. And you know what's funny? It's they'll, they'll probably yeah. reach out to me just because of this. Now they'll probably yeah. Reach do out. that now. Yeah, now, now, now Doja, my man. Doja, do me a favor, man. Do me a favor, Doja. Help out. Help out an on. Australian it's brother. A, this, will you? this is a scam. Even, even, even worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is you get to sicken up Cubs with a. Zeta, right? <laughs> Either way, it's a win-win situation win -win. here. So, dude, nah, reach out to look, Cubs. Hi, He's going to put a Zeta on. Dude, That's you, it. You've been, <laughs> you, you've been spending too much time at the Spice Mines of Kessel. All right, let's <laughs> let's go on. we got to talk 3v3 defense. Now, Heinze and I are going to be doing a defense and an offense video, yes. uh, giving you guys a lot of 3v3 team ideas for both camps. We wanted to give you a yes. little bit of an appetizer with a couple 3v3 defensive teams we both thought of. Um, I'm going to share my first one. And this mm -hmm. is I, a lot of people now have uh, characters that they didn't have at relics that they did be that they or that they, they didn't have them relic before, but they do now because of mm -hmm. either Luke, Galactic Legend Luke, uh, Sith Eternal, etc. Um, one of those characters for me is Lando Calrissian. And I was thinking about mm -hmm. where to throw Lando. And with CLS, I also have three Baka up there. I've got a lot of different ways I can use uh, some of those Rebels. And so I'm actually going to try Lando lead with mm -hmm. Han and Chewie. Lando gifts speed. Ooh. He gifts speed. 15 speed to Rebel allies and 29% crit damage. 
And so imagine that extra 29% crit damage under Han and Chewie. You get that first turn in 3v3. That first turn can be very devastating. Interesting, man. Interesting uh, mix. I do like it. I do like it. L little, little bit off, off kilter. I think you know, like Lando's an interesting choice you gotta in that funky, lineup. Funky man, you got to get funky. Yeah, yeah. You do have to think outside the box a bit. Absolutely. And again, look, it's it's tricky when you when you talk defense teams because, as you know, depends on what GP and what teams you have available. Make yeah. it a little bit tricky, and sometimes you got to theory craft a bit more. But uh, I mean, you know, any any <laughs> hello anything with a galactic legend in it, it's going to be good on defense, right? I mean, let's you know, especially if you haven't got any, let's. Yeah. Be be honest if you're looking for something a bit more what, let's call it meat and potatoes so mm. for those that don't obviously have a galactic legend in play um you know grievous is still great with b1 and magna you could chuck what tambor in there as an option as well with b1 just as an idea or, or magna as well and and uh, and what tambor they're good combinations bounty hunters are still pretty solid um yeah you know, there's certainly night sisters as well that you know they're, they're still great as well on defense especially under a uh a, a mother tells and lead as well with the revives keep coming back from time to time so there, there's some really interesting options coming up but yeah we'll get a bit more in depth in it in a one-on-one uh, -on -one video and we'll uh, we'll get our study notes together and we'll get a bit more serious with it i'm looking forward to that video It'd be fun i i asked you for one team and you gave me like 30. It's a warm up, man. I've got plenty more where that came from. Don't worry. It's just a warm up, bro. It's a classic. It's all good. This is the mark of a guild leader who's used to getting advice where somebody asks you advice. He's like, blah, 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 just gives them everything all at once. Like, do this, 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 this. Yeah, yeah. And, and do your tickets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I, 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 I did a naughty and missed those recently. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't mean you personally. Oh, I just you... meant in general to no, everyone. I wasn't no, having. It's, I wasn't... it's true, though. It's true. I'll admit to it. I, I, I was busy and I, I fell asleep too early. Anyway, all right, guys. We're going to jump over to Heinze's portion of this video. We're n you're not done yet. Go down in the no. description. Click on the link after you like the video and subscribe and jump on over to Heinze's portion of the video. We're going to be talking about some other great stuff. Heinze, thanks so much for joining me for the video. You have anything else to say to the Cubs fan before we go? No, no, that's it. Love the Cubs fan. We're gonna, we've actually got a viewer's choice channel, guys. We're going to reach out now once a week. We're going to get Ooh. a question from you. You ask, you put them in the Ooh. comments below, guys. You okay. let us know what you want to, uh, what you want to ask Cubs and myself. If it's a good question, we like it, we're going to ask it. So that's it. Do Let's it. go, guys. We'll do see it. you over there. See, it. It. see you on the flip side. Do it, Love do you. it, do it. Mwah. See you guys Bye. over there.